my channel. So today I'm doing a video all about super sweet perfumes. Basically the most sweetest, sickliest, sweetest perfumes out there. There's something that um, tends to be aimed at young sort of teenage tweenies but People of all ages love sweet perfumes. I like a sweet perfume. I don't like them super sweet like some of these are, but I do like to have some sweetness. If you are new here, then hello and welcome. We're all about perfumes here. I have literally hundreds and hundreds of other videos all about different types of perfumes, perfume ranges, so do check them all out. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. Join our little perfume community in in the comments and please do keep your requests coming for more videos as always I'll leave the links down below to where you can get these in the UK Europe and US so I think I absolutely had to start with pink sugar from Aquilina this is probably the first thing that pops into a lot of people's heads when you think about a super sweet perfume it's I mean, it looks like candy. It looks like a stick of candy. It's called pink sugar. Um, it literally, to me, is the epitome of sweet fragrance. It's very affordable, um, sort of 10 pounds, maybe less for this small size, if I can get it out. So here it is, this is just the 30 mil. And this to me reminds me of a fairground, walking past the cotton candy stall, maybe there's a hint of like the caramel from the popcorn as well. And you just get that candy floss, sickly, sugary, sweet smell. It also has licorice in, again, a very sweet note, vanilla, strawberries, raspberries, berries. But the main note is definitely that pink cotton candy and a slightly warm caramel. It's like a sweeter version of Bon Bon from Victor and Rolf, which I was going to include in this video, but I think that one is so warm. It's more caramelly. I know I included it in my caramel perfume video. Whereas this is more sugary sweet, candy floss sweet. Um, what's really quite cool about this, and I think why it's stuck around for so many years, is because it's so affordable and yet it does stick around, it does last, it is strong, it performs like an eau de parfum even though it's an eau de toilette, so people swear by it and you know I love affordable perfumes because you don't feel guilty like spraying loads of it on, so I think if you just want something cheap and affordable when you're just in the mood of like feeling like you know, reminding you of your childhood or just feeling really girly. I think this is always a, a cute option. And yeah, I'm sure it will stick around for many years to come. So when I think of super sweet perfumes, another thing that comes to mind is the original Britney Spears Fantasy, the pink one. I have Fantasy, Midnight Fantasy, the one she released after that, which is very sweet, but it's more fruity sweet. Whereas the pink original fantasy, even though it had fruits in, also had this white chocolate cupcake vibe to it, which this one doesn't have. Um, so I think the pink one is definitely the sweetest. It really is quite sickly, like it does smell like walking into a cupcake shop. I probably would have worn that when I was a teenager, but now um, I, I, would, I much prefer this one. And again, what's really cool, I think, is that it's so affordable. It's been around for so long, I think 20 years or something now, the fantasy line. And you're looking at being able to get the full size like this for like less than 20 pounds, maybe. So I think sweet scents do tend to be associated with cheap perfumes, with celebrity perfumes. But there's nothing wrong with that. Like if you like the smell, you like the smell. Um, so I wouldn't stress or worry about that and I feel like sometimes very expensive fragrance brands go to extreme efforts to not have sweet perfumes um, which is a shame because it means if you're a sweet perfume fan then you're restricted and, and they're not marketing to you, they're not aiming at you when perhaps you would be paying a lot of money for a super sweet perfume. Anyway, side note, so yeah, definitely more fruity than Pink Sugar for Original Fantasy but still and that chocolatiness that Pink Fancy doesn't have, uh, that Pink 
sugar doesn't have but yeah definitely super sweet so another one which i remember smelling it for the first time and thinking how sweet it was is the dolce and gabbana pour femme perfumes this is the intense version there's also the eau de parfum version and these are sweet marshmallow fragrances and um, the intense version is like a wintry cozy marshmallow and i find the eau de parfum version is a bit more slightly more fresher but still super sweet. These are strong, especially the intense version. Um, so you're probably gonna get more lasting power, more projection out of these than Pink Sugar and Fantasy. Definitely more lasting power, I think. I find this really sticks around, but you have to be in the right mood for this. You have to want that sweet marshmallow vibe. I find this a very wintry perfume, very cozy. And one that this and the Eau de Parfum version remind me of, are the Emporio Armani because it's you range. I have it here in a mini. This, the first one, is a sweet raspberry. And in the dry down, it becomes sweeter. There's vanilla in it and that starts to come out. At first you think, oh, it's kind of a fresh raspberry, but it becomes sweeter as it dries down. So I think as far as a sort of more grown up sweetness goes, I'd say this and the Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme ones are a bit more grown up, a bit more sexy and sophisticated, but they still are very sweet. And I guess that makes them sexy, like they're good date night perfumes. I guess one that's kind of obvious that I should include in here is Daisy from Marc Jacobs. Daisy Oh So Sweet, literally called Oh So Sweet giveaway. This one is very, very sickly sweet. It's kind of a bit light because it's you, but way, way lighter. This is the light eau de toilette perfume. If you watch my channel a lot, you might recall that I'm not a huge fan of the Daisy line. I find them not very good at lasting and very expensive considering their performance. Um, and this is definitely one of the lighter ones. So at first it does smell very sweet, like it literally smells like what Barbie would wear. Raspberries, blackberries, sugary, sweet, but then it just fades really quickly. So I've included it because it is super sweet, but I'm not a huge recommender of this perfume unless you just want the bottle, which is really cool. Or perhaps it'd be good for like a really young person where you don't want them. It's not appropriate for them to have super strong perfume. One of my favourite types of sweetness is a sorbet gelato sweetness. Um, not ice cream because that has milk in it, but sorbet, which is... I love sorbet. And my favourite for this is from Escada. It's their Agua del Sol. This came out a few summers ago. I guess it's discontinued, but you can still get it online. Like I said, I'll leave the links down below. And this is just like, you know, a hot day somewhere. You go into a gelato shop and you get maybe a raspberry sorbet, something citrusy, pear sorbet. That's what this is like, orangey. Mmm. It literally smells exactly like that. And you get that sort of relief of eating the sorbet and you've, you're so hot and humid and sweaty and you eat it and it's just really cooling and it's got that sweetness to it. That's what this feels like. So this reminds me of like holiday vibes, just light, carefree, sweet. If you want something for very hot weather, perhaps you live in a hot climate, but you don't want something like you still want some sweetness, I think this is a nice way to get it. Get it with a citrus sweetness. Mm, so nice and some apricot comes through it's quite warming and there's also tonka bean in the base which makes it a bit warming as well but I really love this it's not super strong it's not heavy you do have to keep topping it up it is an eau de toilette I think if I were to create a perfume I'd love to create one like this but that was an eau de parfum really strong but still citrusy sweet and yeah I just like this it makes me smile and it's super cheap and I love the packaging and everything it's just really nice so I definitely have to mention the Ariana Grande perfume. I have her Cloud, which is a coconut scent, but I think her sweet ones, sweet like candy, which is whipped cream and marshmallows and vanilla, it's really sickly sweet. Her Ari one, they're so sweet. Sweet like candy is super sweet. Um, again, quite affordable. Her more recent ones like Cloud, like the REM perfume are not as sweet, um, but her original ones that come in those balls are very sweet, and but still very popular. 
So, or another celebrity one that's very sweet from Beyonce. I have Beyonce Pulse, which is a vanilla citrus sweet one. It is really nice. But there was an edition that came out of this called Pulse NYC. And I remember it coming out because I've been loving this in the shop. I was working in a perfume shop at the time and I used to spray this quite often. And then NYC came out. And I did really like how sweet and fruity it was. So it's kind of like a raspberry cupcake, the NYC one. Very sweet. I think it's discontinued now, but you can still get it. I'll try and find it and leave the link. Um, I know Pulse is still going and not discontinued, but the NYC version, I think, was um, removed. But if you want something very affordable, vanilla -y, fruity, Beyonce Pulse is great. I think this full size was like £10 or something. Really affordable. Um, some people hate the bottle. I quite like it. I think it's cool. It reminds me of like Avatar or something or do you remember Superman had that kryptonite something like that mm. And then you might have seen my recent video on Bath and Body Works fragrances I think their champagne toast is a really nice super sweet perfume a sugary nectarine and passion fruit sugary tangerine black currant I think this is maybe my favorite along with gingham Mm, I, I do really like this and it has very good projection. I know it's only a fragrance mist. I think you can get them in the perfume form, but it performs like an eau de toilette perfume, I, in my opinion. Strong, nice, and you get this full size, like it's a big size and everything. So this definitely, I think, is my favourite along with Gingham. Definitely my favourite sweet one. Mmm, it's just fruity and sweet and nice. And then... I debated whether to include this in this video. Of course, Olivier Bell from Lancome, one of the best sellers internationally, is a sweet perfume, but it's a warm sweetness. It's not like a sugary sweet. It's got praline in, vanilla. I'm kind of 50-50 whether this should be in this video, but I thought I should mention it. So that's it, guys. So let me know what would be your top picks for super sweet fragrances. Let me know in the description down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm sure there's loads of others you could add to this list. Um, but that's it. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!